What we're focused on is talking about the DNA evidence, but it's important to remember that this is just one strand, one piece of a complex jigsaw. And actually what we have to do in answering the question, is this Richard III, is put all of the bits of the jigsaw together. We know that Richard III was killed at the Battle of Bosworth, in battle, brought back to Leicester and buried in the choir of the Church of the Greyfriars. He was aged 32 when he died, and we know that within his lifetime he was described as having one shoulder as being higher than the other. So we do the excavation and we find the remains of a young man. He is in his late 20s to early 30s. He has got battle injuries and severe scoliosis of the spine, and he's in the choir of the Church of the Greyfriars. Now you can add the radiocarbon data to this and the DNA analysis, and you can bring all of those strands together and do what's known as a Bayesian analysis to put a sort of statistical number on how likely this is to be who you think it is. We've done just that and we've calculated a probability of these being the remains of Richard III at their most conservative being 99.999%. The evidence is overwhelming that these are the remains of Richard III.